Have you been suggested this exercise for your sports hernia or groin pain, but it's not really working for you and you have pain here or here? We're going to supply a modification for this exercise today that works really well for the clients that we work with here at Performance Place. I'm Sebastian and this is Don. Also spelled like Dwayne, we're part of the locally world famous chiropractors in Costa Mesa, California. Also read like Dwayne, not spelled like Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's going to take me through this exercise and give me some modifications. Cool. All righty, so starting in the plank position. Perfect. And he's going through it here and he's showing us the movement. One thing we may notice is that at a certain point in this exercise is maybe when we feel our groin pain. Um, everybody's a little different, but I'm going to guess it might be at this point right here. Yeah, I kind of feel that like right as I'm starting. Mm -hmm. Maybe once as you walk up, it kind of goes away. But as you come back down into this plank position, we start to feel groin, maybe some hip flexor, all kinds of stuff like that happening. So pause here. What I want you to note is what his back is doing here. Okay. So before we even actually get up into your plank position here. Yeah, exactly. So from the knees, he can find this a little bit easier. Can we hold this? Can we stiffen? Come to the toes and crawl. Perfect. At the top here, find that stiffness as you slowly come back down. Sometimes just bringing some attention and awareness into what the spine and the pelvis is doing here can actually help people realize what they're doing as well and they can perform it a little bit better. Um, but if this exercise altogether just isn't working out for you, you don't notice any improvement with it, it just creates pain and discomfort, I'm going to keep you at your knees here, Seb. Bring your, feet, your uh, hands a little closer underneath you. We're going to go high bear. Perfect. So. Give me that little pelvic tilt. Perfect. Keep that. Lift the knees about an inch or so. Use your hands to push your butt back and high to the ceiling behind you and then rock back down. Perfect. And again, back behind and rock back down. What do you feel working? Uh, I feel like my belly, a little bit of my, of, of my quads. And I don't feel like it's so cumbersome though either. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so I feel more secure with it. And it actually is much easier to hold this position as I go down. Absolutely. So we're not using hip flexor groin muscles really to kind of walk our legs up towards our hands. We're allowing our hands to push us back into that same final position there. Now, if I do it the other way uh, with that arch that you didn't really want, mm -hmm. I kind of feel just my hamstrings. Yeah. I don't really feel like my quads when I do it mm -hmm. like that. So uh, if you guys are wondering why things like this work or just changing some of your posture in the exercise work, we do have a webinar in the corner which covers things like hip flexors and sports hernias and other types of groin pain uh, and some theory behind it as well as some things that you could do. So take advantage of that. It's well worth your time. And if you guys want something a little more individualized for you, you've been working on this for way too long, YouTube just isn't helping out anymore, please reach out to us. We can help you in person or virtually. We'll help guide you in the right direction. See you guys next time. <laughs>